you have an audio podcast, YouTube now lets you import your RSS feed to a YouTube channel, uploads all your old episodes, and will automatically upload new ones. It will create a video from your custom episode artwork, bring in all your show notes and your links, and now your audio podcast will be available on YouTube in just a few clicks. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of setting up your audio podcast in YouTube and how to grow your podcast on YouTube, including how to share vertical clips for YouTube shorts. Previously, YouTube allowed you to set a playlist as a podcast, but you had to upload videos every time. Now, if you log into your YouTube studio, click create and go to new podcast, there's a new option here called submit RSS feed. If I click submit RSS feed, we'll now see some fine print and it'll let us know what this actually does for your YouTube channel. Which if you wanna learn more about custom episode artwork and the benefits of adding a custom image per episode, check out the video above or the link is in the description. Not only will it upload new episodes when you publish them to your audio podcast, but it will actually publish the changes you make in your podcast host wherever you have your audio RSS feed. And there's a preview here of what it will look like both in the YouTube player and YouTube music. Here you'll actually put the RSS feed for your audio podcast. Now you might get this error because some podcast hosts now hide your email. This way you don't get spammed by a bunch of marketing companies pulling those emails from RSS feeds. Depending on your podcast host, you can go into the settings for your RSS feed and there will be a checkbox somewhere to display the email in the RSS feed, at least temporarily. And then you can uncheck that later. You'll be sent a verification code to the email registered in that RSS feed. Enter the code you got in that verification email and go to the next step. Now you can choose to upload all the episodes in your RSS feed, only episodes published since a certain date, or not to upload any old episodes. I'm gonna bring all my episodes in from the RSS feed. And if you've ever had sponsored ads in the audio podcast, either baked in or dynamic ad insertion, make sure to check this box. YouTube requires you to make viewers aware that there's paid promotion in a piece of content. So if you have those ads, check this box. I'm gonna upload all the old episodes and it lets us know that by publishing the podcast, everything will be unlisted at first. Then you'll have the option to publish them all or just specific episodes. I'll hit save and YouTube will begin importing the episodes from my RSS feed. Now, as you can see, it created a new playlist for the podcast, and this is where those static image and audio only episodes will be uploaded. Now, I already had a playlist for the podcast on this channel. Here we actually have the last 21 episodes already uploaded via video, and we've been recording with Riverside and publishing the video version right here on our channel. Now, if you weren't already uploading video, this is a great opportunity to just have your audio podcast here in YouTube on a channel. It will be updated automatically, and all you have to do is still publish your episodes to the RSS feed. But if you're already in the habit of doing a video podcast, we would recommend continue doing the video version to the playlist, and then you can add all those older episodes, maybe where you don't have video, to this playlist. This way, when someone gets to your podcast in YouTube Music or on YouTube, they see your full catalog and they'll still see the video version for the last episodes you've done with video. And however you decide to organize those, we would recommend that you continue doing video and the easiest way to do that is with Riverside. Riverside is perfect for video podcasting, especially with remote guests. Everything is recorded in high quality video and you get uncompressed wave audio if you wanna edit that in post-production. And you can use the Riverside editor to put it all together in one place. You can cut and splice, add intro and outro clips, add those caption overlays, and even reformat your content into those vertical videos easily. Plus Riverside has an amazing feature called Magic Clips. Click one button and it uses AI to find the most engaging moments of your recording and it will create those vertical clips with captions overlaid automatically. And you can even correct the transcript if you see anything misspelled and then share those videos on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. If you'd like to learn more about video podcasting using Riverside and recording with remote guests, check out this video above or links are down in the description. Now, as YouTube is importing your old episodes, you can jump into the details of this podcast. This is the information that YouTube will display in YouTube Music and for this playlist. You can have your podcast description, your title, you can upload custom artwork if you'd like. And this is also the thumbnail that will appear if you don't have custom episode artwork attached to your episodes. You can choose the default RSS video visibility, so new episodes are always private, unlisted, or public. If you're continuing to do an audio-only podcast, but you want those new episodes available in YouTube by default, then you can set the public option here. There's also more defaults for including paid promotion if you're going to continually have sponsors. And then these are the settings for the actual playlist. New episodes will appear at the top of the playlist and the default visibility of this playlist. If I go back, I'll click the video section. You'll eventually see the progress bar of how many episodes are left to upload via the RSS feed. And then you can set this playlist as public and now your audio podcast is in YouTube Music and on YouTube for everyone to listen to. This is what an audio only podcast will look like here in the YouTube Music app. The daily from the New York Times is audio only when you tap an episode and click play. The static podcast artwork or custom episode artwork if you have that will appear here. 
Any comments that people leave on this episode will actually be visible in YouTube Music as well. And YouTube is actually doing a good job with show notes for the podcast. Typically, you would have rich links in podcast notes where you can click text and it would take you to an HTML. And that actually doesn't work in YouTube video descriptions. So YouTube will automatically split your text and URL. This way it is tappable here in the YouTube Music app and clickable on YouTube, and you didn't have to do anything. But now new episodes of your audio podcast can automatically be available in YouTube and YouTube Music, and you have a new platform to distribute your content. Now one other word about sharing YouTube Shorts. When you upload a short to YouTube, you can also connect it to a long form video on your channel. Here I can click the actual episode where this clip was pulled, and when I hit save, when someone views this YouTube short, they can actually click one button and now listen to the full episode on YouTube. You see, here's the short on YouTube, how someone would view it, and there's a link right here to the long form video, and now they're watching the full episode right here on YouTube. So if you're looking to grow your audience, add your podcast to YouTube, and if you have an audio only show, you can now use this import RSS feature in YouTube get that whole back catalog onto your channel and publish new episodes automatically. And of course, if you're recording video with Riverside, it's easy to create those vertical clips, share it on YouTube Shorts, and then link those to your full episodes, again, so you can grow your audience even more. If you have questions about adding your podcast to YouTube or any questions about podcasting, video, audio, or otherwise, leave a comment below this video. I answer all of those personally. would love to help you there. And if you'd like to learn more about Riverside and some of the incredible new features we have, check out this video above. And if you're looking to start a podcast and you're not sure where to begin, I actually have a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Consider it a podcasting 101 class. You can check it out right here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.